What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko back with Tony here and we're doing a deck profile today of a deck that I don't I haven't seen too often myself. I don't know if you guys have seen it. The deck's really cool and Tony's here to show it off. So Tony take over. So Dimension Force has a lot of cool stuff. Obviously after YCS Hartford we're kind of seeing what kind of stuff is actually good but that doesn't mean some of the other archetypes don't deserve some experimentation. And one of the ones that I have been looking into just in few for future reference has been the Scareclaw archetype. Okay so the Scareclaw are interesting. Uh, they are representative of, of a new storyline that we may be seeing in the future for the card games. Very similar to the Albaz Saga, there's a related card for it. More important, the Scareclaw archetype is one that's built off of the idea of creating a singular link monster and then putting things in a defense position yep. under the idea that you're just basically scaring your opponent to defense. Yep. Uh, the deck itself is actually very extender heavy and as a result, it has a very flexible game style. Uh, and let's just get into it though. Before we do though, make sure you guys are, if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, but also check out Tony's channel. A link will be in the description below. All right, Tony, let's go. Some of these deck profiles, well, adding on to that though, some of these deck profiles that I do will also appear up in my channel. I'm just going to be a little more in depth with it because I feel like here at least it's easier for me just to go through the profile at speed. Yep. Anyway, starting with the Scareclaw monsters, we have three Scareclaw Rykart, three Scareclaw Acro, three Scareclaw Astra, and three Scareclaw Balloon. So you're just maxing out? All of them, all of them. Because yep. all of them have a similar effect, where if there is a Scareclaw on the field, these guys can special themselves to that uh, to the zone adjacent to that. Okay. So if I have a Scareclaw in the main monster zone, let's say here, any other of my Scareclaws can freely special themselves to the left and right of this card. Nice. They're all extenders. And they're all extenders that do not activate, meaning that with some negation being kind of scarce, they're very easy to just drop to the field. Yep. Uh, with that being said, though, uh, what's the end goal of that? It's to create this monster, Scareclaw Tryhard. So, Scareclaw Tryhard, and this provides context for the rest of the deck. Tryhard says that while it's on the field, all monsters your opponent control go to defense. Actually, all monsters on the field go to defense position. Okay. This monster is unaffected by all the effects of any monster in defense position, which means that turning everything to defense, it's immune to everything that there is. Yep. Likewise, once per turn, you could target one of these Scareclaw monsters in your graveyard that's level 3, special summon it, and then add any Scareclaw from the deck to your hand. Yep. And this is where the deck kind of comes together. Using your extender effects, you'll somehow make the three monsters necessary to make your Scareclaw try hard. Upon doing so, you can then bring back your Scareclaws, then add the only level four in your deck in your Scareclaw uh, right cards. Yeah. And the reason for it being that all these Scareclaws have additional effects as well that are either passive or additional benefits to the deck. Yep. These ones here all have effects that work just passively as continuous effects, where they apply to the Scareclaw monster in the extra monster zone. Yep. I believe Ashley here increases the attack of your Scareclaw extra monster zone monster by 300 for every monster in defense position. Yep. Not just yours, but your opponent's as well. Meaning that for your opponent's field, this monster just gets bigger and bigger. Yep. This is also the only effect that is not limited to itself, which means that multiple of them can stack. Nice. Uh, Scareclaw Balloon allows your Scareclaw monster to do piercing. Well, if everything's in defense, you're just punching for damage there. Yep. But the interesting one here is Astro, which while Astro's on the field, your Scareclaw monster and your extra monster can attack a number of times equal to the number of different Scareclaw monsters you have in defense position. Oh. So this is how you're going to be OD King. Assembling yeah. all of these monsters on the field, you'll be able to attack multiple times, gain potentially massive numbers of boosts, and also deal piercing damage for a lot of, basically, the game. Yep. And given the fact that this thing is unaffected, it means it's your opponent's going to be hard to stop this. Reichhardt, on the other hand, is new unique because one, unlike the other ones, they're not a beast, but two, when it's summoned, you can add any Scareclaw spell or trap from the deck to your hand. Yep. And this acts as something that allows you to get the supplemental thing when you go first to then protect your board. Yep. And yeah, that's just fun fundamentally the idea behind the deck and why we're maxing out. They're all extenders, they all make this, and then this allows you to continue to build with them to then produce a kind of aggression board that your opponent doesn't exactly always have the answer to out. Yep. With that being said, then we have the cards that we do support, and we have three parallel exceed. So I feel the need to mention that all these Scareclaw monsters, because of the idea that they're in defense, have no attack except for the right card. They're yep. all zero attack. Yep. Meaning that they're under 1,000, and that means that you can, on any normal summon of a Scareclaw monster, make a uh, Almirage, and then Almirage allows you to trigger your Parallel Exceed. Yep. And this alone, because Parallel Exceed summons a second one, does provide the three monsters necessary to create your Tryhard, since it is generic. Yep. But at the same time, if you already have a way to make your Tryhard, this does allow you to make some rank 4s, and sometimes with other ways, rank 8s, that does allow you to supplement the Tricard. Because, let's face it, it's always good to have a little extra on the side. Yeah. Then we have, of course, the three Valor. Uh, because everything pretty much is in defense position and it's tryhards unaffected by most things, there's only a limited number of things that can stop this card. As a result, you do want to have the Valor for those situations. Yep. 
Uh, then, going into the spells, we have our field spell in three, I believe it's called um, Primitive World Reichphobia. Uh, when activated, you can search for any scale claw monster. This is a searcher for the deck, that's your quintessential field spell. Nice. More importantly, while in the field, if you control three or more defense position monsters, you can target one monster on the field and destroy it. This oh, nice. Just removal. And I believe there is one additional effect. Oh, yes. Uh, it also causes your opponent's monster to lose 100 attack and defense for each scare, uh, monster in defense position. Also, scare claw monster. This also helps you OTK then. It does help you OTK. Yeah. Uh, and because it's a scare claw card, it is searchable off of your right heart. Nice. Uh, fantastic card. This is generally the thing you will be searching into to get your last missing piece from your right heart if you want to build it that way. Yep. Alternatively, you can grab one of your scare claws arrival. Arrival is a reborn for the scare claw deck, revives yep. any scare claw from the graveyard. Uh, granted, I will point this out. You can revive your Xyz. Not exactly a good idea because the Scareclaw Xyz only or, or oh, Link, Link. only gets all the bonuses from your Scareclaw monsters while it's in the extra monster. Okay. You're much more better just making uh, another one. No, another one. Yeah. Like Additionally, while it's in the graveyard, if one of your Scareclaw and Link monsters will be destroyed, you can banish this card from the graveyard instead. Oh, so it's protect even it's, more protection. It's more protection to the the big boss monster. Nice. Then we have three Perry Rays map. Uh, yep. Appearance map, when activated, has you pay half your life, and then, as a result, you can then search for any monster with zero attack. However, you cannot activate the effects of that monster until you normal summon that monster. Yeah. Now, this would be, theoretically, a restriction, but none of your Scare Claw zero they, attack monsters actually have an activated effect. Yeah, they inherently summon themselves. They inherently special summon themselves, and then they have continuous effects. Yeah. Meaning that this effect for half your life searches for your any Scare Claw in your deck. Oh, nice. And then... Who cares about how long the restriction lasts for? Because ultimately, once you get them to the grave, you can then revive them and then reset them. Yep. Then we have the one Rota, because Reich Phobia is a warrior. We have the one Terraform, because the... Uh, field spell. Field spell. And then we have two Pot of Desires, because your entire deck is just functionally just three of extenders. So yeah. you really don't mind which one which More one cards is better. Uh, going into the traps, however, we have a few ones. We do have the one Scareclaw Slash. Uh, Scareclaw Slash has the additional ability to, I believe, allow one of your Scareclaw monsters to attack one defense position. Yeah. That will never come up. Uh, what really comes up is the fact that while face up on the field, you can send to the graveyard to negate any effect. Well, while you oh, control so Scareclaw the negate, then. It is a negate to protect your field. This is something that you'll search with your uh, right heart when you're going first to at least provide a layer of protection to this monster. Alternatively, because this does matter, we also have Scareclaw Alternative. Okay. I did not even intend to make that uh, make that joke there. Uh, alternative, by treating oh. three of your defense position Scareclaw monsters, prevents your opponent from special summoning any monster in anything but defense position. Oh, okay. So why is this particularly relevant? Well, on top of the fact that it means that everything comes down in defense position, which means everything's unaffected, uh, the one thing that unfortunately cannot be turned in defense position is a link monster. Yeah. They can't exist in defense position. By activating this card, your opponent... Cannot summon a monster, a link monster. Oh, because they have to special summon in defense. Defense position. Oh, okay. As a result, sense. it just it removes probably the one chink in the Scareclaw armor that prevents it from being able to be uh, removed easily. Yeah. Because at this point, this card probably just loses to a unicorn otherwise. Yeah. Uh, three cards. Then there's two cards, or three cards I do not have, but I just will show here, I guess. It's called Gorgon's Eye. Yeah. Gorgon's Eye says, for the turn, negate the effects of all monsters in defense position. This effect is a blanket lingering effect. Oh, it's like a skill drain. It's a skill drain for the turn that applies for any monster in defense position, yep. new or old. Yep. As a result of that, while he's while your tryhards on the field, flip up you flip up that Gorgon sign, and for that turn, any monster that isn't linked monster will just not get their effects. This is an additional layer of protection because you know even if this card's unaffected, it doesn't mean your opponent can't play. That card actually just prevents you from playing. Yeah. The only issue with this card, and the reason I don't have it, is because it's from Soul of the Duelists Super old. and Dark Revelations 2. So, Old if you sense. can find it, that's the part that I believe you should play. Yep. Otherwise, at the same time, we just have our Imperm. Similar to the Veiler, it's just a way to protect our Scareclaw monster. Yep. From so, so you're playing three of the Gorgon's Eye, though, right? Yes, we'd be playing three of the Gorgon's Eye, because that is a card that kind of makes it so Does that your opponent can't get that far. Okay, yeah. okay. Anyway, going into the extra deck, we have the two Scareclaw Tryhard. You really don't need more than two. This card kind of... It's a 3k monster at this point that yeah. kind of just beats down hard. And it gets bigger. Yeah, it gets... Uh, usually with the setup of three Scareclaw monsters, you do get about like 3,900 or 4,200 attack, and that's all you need. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. One more thing I did forget to mention. This is probably oh. relevant. Uh, Reichhardt also gets an additional effect if it, when it searches for that spell or trap, where if you control three or more defense position Scareclaw monsters, you then draw a card as well. Oh, nice. Uh, as a result of that, there is an incentive to uh, before you even after you search for the right card with his effect to then get another third scare claw on the field just so you get that draw. Makes Sometimes sense. that draws you into hand traps. You never know when that becomes relevant. 
From there, we then have a few Link 4s that we can make on the turn after. We need to need to kill our opponent. We have the Appaloosa for the Negate, and we have the uh, Axis Code. For the OTK. Uh, the OTK. Yeah, I will clarify something, though. Uh, there is a restriction to that Revival effect. You yep. cannot summon anything but Scare Cards for the rest of the turn. Okay. So this is definitely something you make in the following turn when you want to either kill your opponent, or you know that after making the Link 4, you can then make another Scare Card try hard. Yep. Uh, from there, we then have the Unicorn, just removal. We have the Cherubini. Uh, all your other Scare Claws are level 3. You can make this. You dump the Scare Claw that you don't, you're missing, and that way you have something to revive with your Tryheart. Mind you, because you, your Scare Claw Tryheart needs 3 monsters, this kind of messes up the way you want to build that. Yeah. However, alternatively, we also have an Asahina. Asahina can be made using two, any, 2 level 3 Scare Claw monsters, or technically your 2 Parallel Exceed. But it also then lets you revive a Parallax Seed from your graveyard and one in, especially some one from your hand. And they're both about eight, right? Yeah. yeah, they're both about eight at that point. Nice. Yeah. So there's some plays there if you really want to do that. We have the one uh, Phoenix and the one uh, service just for removal. We have the Almar to trigger our Parallax Seed. Then we have the Exceed. We have the one uh, number 75, Bamboozing Gossip Shadow, uh, because. It's just rank three. It's a, probably the best rank three you can make at the moment. You have yeah. the one Baguska. Because if you didn't need to turn your monster into defense position, you could do it twice now. And this card's great against like a lot of the meta decks, actually. Oh, yeah. Enough, yeah. Like, it's great against right now Despia as well as Therion. Yeah. Just kind of can't. Kind of can't play it. Even Sword Soul has a hard time playing through it. All right. We have the one um, uh, Dweller, Dweller, just because graveyard effects. And that one rank eight that we have is being used to. It legitimately can be anything, but. At this point, I chose the Ingushu because it at least gives you a layer of protection to your tryhard. All right, guys, keep in mind this is a 14 card extra deck, and for anyone who doesn't know, that's Tony's thing because I always get it in the comments, and they're like, "Tony's only playing 14 cards." It's meant to be 14. It's meant to be 14. Yes, uh, you can. I'm pretty sure that last one is whatever you want because, as I've already demonstrated here, the deck is pretty flexible on what it can play. It's just all extenders into all what you need to make. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, granted, I feel like this deck, as good as it is, is very simplistic. You're basically specializing some of the three dudes to make a towers-based monster. And we know at this point, this deck, obviously, that isn't exactly the most, I guess, perfect strategy. Yeah. It's like a Heat Soul deck, but lacking nowhere near as many cool plays. It's more of an OTK kind of deck rather than a mid-range. It's, How a, it's definitely a more OTK-focused deck, but even going first, it's got something at least. Yeah, I will say, though, if for anyone who doesn't know, this deck is also getting a Link 1 soon. Yes. It's only in our type, and when that happens, Tony will do an update. But yeah. that card makes the deck infinitely better. The Link 1, just to give you a heads up, because that chances are by the time that comes out, I will be doing an actual deck profile of this on my channel. Uh, Link 1, the one summon will search for your field spell. Yeah. Uh, this lets you basically turn one of your Scare Claws into two Scare Claws, and that is important purely because it means you don't have to open three monsters just to play the game. And it also turns on your parallel exit if you need to. No, it does not. Actually, hold on. Yes. No, yeah. it points left. It points left. Oh, so it doesn't? Yes, it points left. It doesn't do that. Okay, never so mind. It does not do that. Right. But otherwise, it's still a fun deck to play. Definitely something worth picking up now. Uh, like I said before, this is linked to a card called Visit Starfrost. Yep. Which are here. Uh, that is linked to then the Tellerman's archetype that comes out in Power of the Elements as well. Implying that at some point, once again, like the Albat stuff, all of this will come together to create some disgusting mess that we'll all play forever. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Tony, for the deck profile. Scareclaw's fun. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, also subscribe to Tony's channel. And with that, Banco and Tony signing out. Peace!